What's up guys, welcome to uh, Eli's Tin Roof ASMR. So the knives are finished, obviously. This is the second video, by the way, so if you actually wanna see the forging process and the grinding and stuff, gonna have to watch the last one, but today we're doing all the polishing, the sharpening, uh, and the handles. These two, pretty similar to knife handles that I've done in the past. This one is a completely brand new method. It's a through tang, so the tang goes all the way straight through, and then you finish it with this super secret, very, very complicated method that I just, I can't even explain it. You're probably just gonna have to watch the whole entire video and don't freaking skip. And also like the video. Are they sharp? Absolutely. This one here, actually, before I had even sharpened it, I had already cut myself on it two times. Probably not the most uh, sustainable sharpness test ever, but I can finally truly empathize with uh, the little piece of paper in every single knife maker's video. Poor guys. So here's the finishing process of the camping cleaver, the big Bowie knife, buck knife type thing. And then this thing that I'm not really sure what to call it yet. It's not supposed to be a weapon. Them. It's supposed to be a work knife, honest, like something you would take with you camping. I'm actually definitely gonna make another one of these for me to actually use on camping trips. I've brought stuff like this on camping trips and I, I pretty much never use it. Something like this though would be super, super handy. So here's the video, hope you guys like, or er, oh, and I got an anvil. Thank 
Couple of notes. La la. Now a couple of comments. Every single one of these knives is 5160 spring steel. None of them are stainless. So if you do happen to buy, for example, this cleaver and you use it for its intended purpose of chopping up vegetables and meat and stuff, make sure you wash it immediately and get some oil on there or something, something to seal it back up. 5160 is not known for its corrosion resistance. Even just leaving the blades wet for a little while will develop a little bit of uh, oxidation rust. In all of these, for some reason, I think in the last picture that I posted, maybe the lighting or something kind of made it look like I had a patina on all of these, that I gave them an acid bath or something. Haven't done that. I will be doing that in the future, specifically to address the last problem that I just talked about. I just ordered a little bottle of ferric chloride, so that should be cool. It should be fun. And this one. Holy smackerel, when I posted the picture of this one, I think that actually the top comment on that whole entire post was talking about how this knife should have a guard on it to keep your hand from slipping up and getting, you know, cutting yourself on the blade. Yeah, and if you're walking with the knife and you drop it and it cuts your toe, the knife didn't do that. You did that. You dropped the knife on your foot. It doesn't need a lanyard because you dropped the knife on your foot. If you're running with the knife and you stab yourself in the leg, oh, they should make it a different kind so that the blade is coming out from right here instead of down here. The knife didn't stab you in the leg. You stabbed yourself in the leg with the knife. If you get this knife, you're in charge of the knife, okay? If you're not confident in your own ability to use a knife without sliding your hand up it and cutting yourself, don't order the knife, very simple. And on top of that, that's what this is for, man. That goes perfectly in between your middle and index finger. If you're holding on to it with grip strength greater than that of like a baby, you're not gonna slide up it. But again, like I said, it's your responsibility to hold the knife, okay? I'm pretty sure knives have not had guards longer than they had guards. And we're, we're all still here, ain't we? Anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Once I got the sheaths made for each of them, then that's when I'm gonna give all the information about like pricing and how to order them and stuff. That's about all I got for today. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. By the way, yes, of course, I want the video to be over 10 minutes, but turns out I actually got some stuff to talk about too. So, you know, what a coincidence. Now that I finally have somebody working for me, I want to do a much, much, much better job from here on out. Uh, interacting with you guys. I feel, it feels like years and years ago when I was just a young, head full of hair, springy, bouncy, bouncing baby boy. It seemed like the community back then was a whole lot stronger. Not like you guys have become any less strong, but like seriously, straight up, totally my fault. I feel like I've become some, some like weird absentee father, absentee YouTuber. We'll say yeah that's uh that's a little less weird absentee youtuber where i feel like i just like i show up you know every couple of weeks where's my hug and then i just vanish you know a couple of weeks if we're lucky normally it's like a month i'm not posting updates in between nobody has any idea i never really had a good reason for that but now that i have a lot more free time i really really don't have a good reason for that so of course we got the p.o box that i just opened up that's going to be really good for continuing alpha male on the second channel uh I don't really know how we're going to do that because the second channel is a 
is a really, really big secret. I don't want a lot of people going there. In fact, if like none of you, the link is in the description to the channel, but like if none of you could go there, that would be ideal. Oh man, I hope no one subscribes. Well, I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Make sure you don't subscribe, okay? Definitely don't watch the videos there. And when I do put alpha male on the channel, just do not watch it. I want my videos there to have as low views as possible. I'm, I'm, I'm trusting you guys with that one, okay? Jeez. But by the way, this might seem very basic, but this is actually the actual re- this is the actual reason why I stopped doing Alpha Male in the first place. Guys, if you want episodes of Alpha Male, you need to send mail, okay? I would literally get like dozens and dozens of comments on my old videos. Where'd Alpha Male go? And I'm like, send me mail then. I would go and check a couple weeks later, nothing. Check a month later, nothing. I might get like one envelope. I can't do a whole episode of Alpha Male with one envelope. Send me packages, send me interesting stuff. Send me stuff that would make an episode of Alpha Male actually interesting, okay? Don't send me garbage. I don't even put that in the episode. If you send me a package, have a little note in there for me to uh, read and explain what's in there. You know how Alpha Male works. I don't know if the lighting is just really good here, but my head looks really good shaped. It's really uh, good shaped headish. I'm getting distracted, guys. I'm well. It's not even late. I think my uh, brain is trying to get me to stop wasting you guys' time. No, I have to deny myself. I have to waste their time. Shut up, brain. So look, apparently there's a ZNA subreddit too, according to my brother. I, I've never been there myself personally, but my brother keeps telling me about it. He sometimes will like show me stuff from it. I actually think if I'm gonna continue doing episodes of build review, I'll probably go there and I'll like look at pictures of stuff that you guys might be building. And just in general, I'll review any epic type ZNA memes that might be going on there. So that should be pretty pretty cool. Ugh, Discord, I, I've i used it one time. I cannot figure it out. I, I mean, now's, now's as good a time as any though for me to try to learn how to do this stuff. I don't know why that one just like gives me so much anxiety. I'm gonna try to learn how to use it so I can actually, you know, do Discord stuff. If you guys have any additional ideas for any potential ways that I could, you know, reach out and interact with you guys. I'm, I'm small ears, but that's about all I got for today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll talk to you later.